We've had good tools uh, for myeloma for, for a long time. So stem cell transplantation actively works. You can enhance the activity of stem cell transplant by incorporating these new agents. So the future, as I see it anyway, is about newly diagnosed patients designing combinations of therapies that overcome this intraclonal heterogeneity, eradicates high-risk subclones that lead to early relapse, and getting people to 10 years and beyond if you get to 10 years, the survival curves become flat, and so you can use it as a surrogate for cure. We're getting 50% of people, younger patients, to 10 years and effectively being cured. And so the outcomes for low-risk patients really have to be the number of people who are alive and well 10 years and beyond. And so that is a very difficult endpoint for pharma to buy into, but it's important for patients and the clinical community. So how do you square that circle, say? Well, you have to have novel endpoints that you can apply early in the disease process that are surrogates for long-term outcome. And maybe minimal residual disease detection is one of those surrogates. So we should aim in all patients these days to eradicate all uh, traces of the disease because there is no real cure without doing that.